But a lot of people, I think, were really, really surprised when they lost their jobs, you know, even if they worked in industries that no longer had any business. Yeah. And and that's that's huge. You need to be prepared for that kind of thing because it's about your life. You know, yeah. you got to think about that because your employer won't. With that cohort of people. What we see happen a lot is they start talking like, oh, man, maybe I should go back to school. Maybe, Almost immediately. Maybe I should go back to school. It's a knee jerk reaction. It's like the first thing that you do is it's, it's safety. That's why it's perceived. It's perceived safety. It's all they know how and, to do. Yeah. It's perceived safety and it's, it's familiar and it's like, oh, well, what do I, do? if I want job training, if I want to go into a different field, if I can't get a job in this field, my, this field no longer exists, or I just got laid off of this job, this job sucked anyway, uh, or I just quit. They're like, oh yeah, I'll go back to school to get trained into a, into a different field. When, you know, our whole argument is that like, that's not, that's not the case. Like job, tra- like job training and college are two vastly different things. And, you know, if you're prepared before, you don't, you won't have that knee jerk reaction. Yeah. Or if you do have that knee jerk reaction, you can calm down and be like, okay, well, well, I had a plan. Yeah. I have a plan. See what else I can do first. Right. There, there, there are other things to do. We saw that a lot here uh, in Hawaii when, when that happened was people who, what I heard, uh, because of the industry I was working in at the time, I heard people who had like marketing degrees or they had hospitality degrees or um, they had business degrees. And then they're all like, oh, I'm going to go get my MBA. Why would you do that? You don't, don't do that. You, you clearly, clearly your job doesn't exist and going to buy a more expensive degree is not going to make that job exist anymore. It just means you're going to spend money to try to apply for the same type of job that now no longer exists. And it was because they were so crystallized into this way of thinking that that's the only way that they can change lanes. They can't just learn a new skill. They can't just teach themselves something else and then apply for something in the same field with just a slightly different added skill. You know, like they, you know, somebody with a marketing degree doesn't, didn't just go learn and get a social media management certification or something like that or learn Google ads. Instead, they're like, oh, I'm going to go get an MBA. Uh, Maybe this is better because one, this is free and that's a really good idea. So try this first and see if you can apply within that field and get a job. Um, but a lot of people, I think, think a lot of people believe, and I think maybe colleges imply this, but that they're going to only have like one or two jobs and they're going to stay in the same field because they have a degree, but that's just not the case for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. And, um, we kind of talked about it before, but like the days of you, so I used to work, I mean, I've had many jobs. Um, but one thing I will say, so Gen X, which is the generation before, uh, I don't know, it's they're older than us, but they said that uh, they said that on average they have six career changes in their lives, and I was I read that statistic, and then I looked at my resume, I was like, geez, I got like twelve on here, like already, you know, and I'm not even thirty years old yet, and I think for a lot of millennials and and people younger than us, that's the case.